2001 Ford Focus. Customer's complaint is that, uh, well, they described it pretty weird, but as I test drove the vehicle, the traction's going active. Uh, the traction will come on, basically stop the car, puts the brakes on, and um, the, the traction light is flashing. Um, they did say they had a wheel bearing put in the left rear. I don't really know if the problem started immediately after the wheel bearing was done or whether it was doing it before. Um, all I know is they put a wheel, wheel bearing in it. So. so we'll scan it looking for trouble codes and probably pull up some data and go road test it with the data of the wheel speed sensors. And we're going to ABS. Codes menu. Memory codes. Okay, left front wheel speed sensor input missing, right front speed sensor input circuit fault, left rear wheel speed sensor input missing, right rear wheel speed sensor input missing. Now I do know that it was the left rear wheel bearing that was changed, battery voltage out of range, SCP data fault for a J1850 bus, and I guess that's it. So basically, right front speed sensor input circuit fault input missing on left front left rear wheel speed sensor input missing and right rear wheel speed sensor input missing so basically one for every every wheel except this is a circuit fault and that's a sensor input missing fault interesting I don't know what to do with that, other than maybe clear it and see what goes on. We'll go ahead and clear these. Let me clear the codes. And codes cleared. Let's see if anything reoccurred immediately. SCP data fault for J1850 bus. Don't know what that means. I'll have to look that up, I guess, but let's go drive it. Let's take a look at the data for the wheel speed sensors. And we'll select just the ones we want. Left front, right front, left rear, right rear. All right, we'll go drive it and see. I'll probably try and take a snapshot or pause it, and uh, that way I don't have to drive it and try and film it at the same time. Okay, I've done nothing but back out of the bay, and at this point it's showing a reading on the left front and the right front, but nothing on the two rears. You can see those two humps there we're reading. Let me back up some more. see over there all the way to the right it's showing a hump where I moved but nothing on the rears nothing on the left rear and the right rear I'll try and drive forward and as I'm driving forward I'm getting nothing on the rears once again brakes are applying and stopping the car the car is like coming to a stop it's very difficult to drive this even a block so I'm gonna head back to the shop okay this never works out for me but I'm gonna try and demonstrate what this car is doing I'm I'm just idling along here and then I'll give it some gas it's literally applying the brakes as soon as I give it gas it's considering that slip and as soon as I let off the gas it stops applying the brakes I'm on the floor well 
so here's our sensor and the wire goes up around here and looks like it unplugs right there and we got no reading on either side so there's our other sensor wire looks intact going to the other side up there by the way this car is extremely rusty this must be a northern car and uh, they've had some brake lines repaired here right there they've obviously rusted through they've replaced some brake lines on it okay we are back probed into one side and we're going to t-pin the other side and what we're trying to see here is stay up there what we're trying to see here is if there's any voltage on there you turn the key off though my bad okay we have pulled apart this wheel bearing and as I'm looking here I don't see that there's a reluctor on here um, I'm gonna go look this up and see if I can we can buy a reluctor separately but this may be for a non ABS car with no reluctor on it so we'll go look that up okay now here's what we're looking at right here we have rear four-wheel ABS rear disc brakes ABS seal and it seems to have first of all the price is uh, <laughs> definitely high for a seal but I'm pretty sure that's a black magnetic thing with north and south poles in it you know emanating out like this and I think that's what's missing on our part so I'm ordering one and we're gonna try that to see if it fixes our uh, left side I don't know what's going on, on the right side we'll have to poke into that after we get the left side working okay we have been able to get uh, some readings on the scan tool by waving a magnet across the sensor there's just a little blip there and a few blips there I'm gonna try and duplicate this again by waving a magnet across the sensor and there's what we got so at this point I have to um, assume that the sensor is okay so it almost has to be the fact that the reluctors so hopefully that means just in simply installing the reluctor will fix the problem but what about the other side the other side I just don't know about yet so and here we have received our new seal uh, they call this a seal but it's actually a reluctor and it has this as I said before it has that part there and just to prove it is it's magnetic there it sticks on there installing this you're gonna have to be really really careful because you can't hit that thing with a hammer and you got to get it on top of there this is what we ended up using in order to push that thing on there we didn't want to hit it with a hammer uh, it may look like our, our legs are sitting on top of the black part, but it's not. They have a step in them. If you can see that, the step is only on the cup itself. So let's hope that got it on there safely without damaging it. It looks pretty good. There's what our clearance looks like right there. We have reassembled. And we have the car on with the scan tool hooked up with the data stream pulled up. And I'm going to do nothing but spin the wheel here. You can see it shows four mile per hour, and the graph is definitely going up. And it's the wheel just stopped. Let me spin it one more time. And I'm going to call that a fix. We still have to worry about the other side, but at least this side's working. So as we're taking this right side apart to inspect to see why the why the wheel speed sensor doesn't work over here We see this gouge right here with the screwdriver Somebody's had this apart most likely and changed the wheel bearing and left that piece off there also, but we'll uh, take it apart the rest of the way and see Okay with the wheel off and just peeling that back We can see that there is no you may not be able to see it on the camera, but we can see that there is no cup on there um, 
it's impossible to get the right angle and stuff, but there is no cup for that reluctor on there. So it needs one on this side also probably. Okay, here's what we're seeing here on the road. And I think you can see we're getting uh, three sensors with data coming out of them and one sensor with nothing, which that is to be expected with what we saw on the behind the wheel bearing. There was no reluctor back there or no seal cap with built-in reluctor. I don't know what to call the dang thing, but at least now with one wheel speed sensor working back there, the traction isn't going active constantly. I would expect that the right rear wheel speed sensor would be triggering a trouble code now, but I think uh, we have to call the customer and sell them a repair on that other side. So during our test drive, we did get a left rear speed sensor input circuit fault and a right wheel, right rear wheel speed sensor input missing fault. So I would assume that this code is triggering because this code is there. Uh, they're making a comparison between the two and obviously they're not liking the fact that this one's not there. They don't know which one's right and which one's wrong, so they just trigger both. Um, but that doesn't matter. At least the traction isn't going active now. Uh, I'll call the customer and see if he'll okay the right side to be repaired, and then we'll see what's going on there. Well, at this point, it don't look like the customer's going to have us fix the other side. We have a um, inter fairly interesting problem to me. Other mechanics might have run into this a dozen times, but maybe in a Volkswagen shop we uh, uh, haven't run into it before. But at least we were able to fix one side. If the customer uh, does allow us to fix the other side uh, in the near future before I edit the video, then we'll uh, show you the other side being fixed. But at this point, this is all we're going to do to it. If you learned anything from this video or this helped you fix your car, consider the donating to the continued production of these videos. And you can find the donate icon on my website at www.kansascitytdi.com. And be sure and click the like and subscribe button if you learned something.